All right, boys. The guys are out mowing, but they're on their way home, I think. They've gone to two different places, and it's pouring down rain. They said it was hailing and all kinds of crap, so I guess they're not going to... Guess they're not gonna finish today, uh, the list. This always seems to happen towards the end of the week. And it's it's starting to sprinkle here too, so that means it's coming this way. Anyway, um, this morning they left, and after the first yard they discovered... A flat. So, the other mower has been at the dealership and it's been ready for a while. So I told them, stop back by, drop this one off, go on to the dealership and um, pick up the other one. And so that's what they did. So they're using the other one. Um, well, they were, I guess they're coming home now. In the meantime, there is, a little nail right there I'm actually gonna leave it in there and uh, pull it out completely when I get finished with the video here because uh, I don't want to lose the spot but the I'm gonna leave it here because the the plug kit to plug this is in the, you know, with them in the trailer or in the toolbox, whatever you want to call it. It's in the truck, so, but I brought it in the garage and uh, I'm just going to leave it here and have it ready so when they get back, I can go ahead and get this plugged up and put some air in it and we'll be back in business on this one. Uh, I am going to be selling one of these probably here in the next week or two. Okay, well, maybe in the next month or two. <coughs> but um, so I'm gonna be wa I'm gonna wash it, clean it up, and um, just gonna go ahead and sell it. Probably here in the next couple of weeks, two three weeks. So probably not even a month. Um, and I'm probably gonna just get another one. Anyway, one is like 200 hours. One is like just under 400 hours. But they're good machines. I'm going to clean it up completely, detail it, grease everything, and uh, put it up for sale. Both of them are the same. And these are the Kawasaki FS 541V 15 horses. I think this is the one that's got the new muffler, so that's good. Right there. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that's also got the new belt. It's either this one or the other one. I can't remember. But other than that, man, they're great. I love, I love these mowers. If I didn't, or if I had a problem with them, I'd let you guys know. And I wouldn't be buying another one because if they sucked, I would be, I would, they sucked. I wouldn't buy another one, but I love them. They're awesome. Oh, I did replace this new fan right here. Believe it or not, I didn't realize it. I only had one, you know, this little fan right here. These little, these little guys right over here. You know what I'm talking about right there on the fan. Mine were all broken but one, and I didn't even realize it. So I went ahead and got another one and replaced it. <clears throat> They're actually not that expensive, honestly. I think they were like 10, 15 bucks. So, but that's it. It's a good, it's a good machine. It's a good machine. So, uh, let's, let's check this filter. Uh, the uh, one that they're using now that they picked up from the dealer has got a brand new filter, but I haven't checked this one in a while. Oh yeah, <laughs> it needs to be cleaned out and changed. Like you can see all the buildup, but honestly, I mean, this is just a padding. The actual filter itself is in the bottom here. 
so as long as that's clean you're okay but I mean of course you want to keep this padding as clean as possible but so yeah that one that one could use a new one or maybe just dust it out real good and clean it out and maybe clean this padding out and uh, you would be good to go but I normally just replace the whole thing because they're like 15 16 bucks I, it's just worth it I don't want to fool with it it's good for the machine to be able to breed guys a lot of you know this but uh, for some of you that don't come on now I'm trying to do this with one hand there you go so anyway stay tuned I'll try to record a little bit uh, when the boys get back and uh, we'll go from there Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys what I ended up buying for my porch. Let's walk back here and look. Come with me. Here you, here you have it, guys. This is, uh, here you have it. This is what we ended up purchasing the other night at Sam's. I know I was talking about it, but I didn't show you guys. I had completely forgotten. Well, actually, we didn't end up putting it all together like that night because it got late and all that good stuff. So I'm still not done. As you can see, I got some tools here, but... That's it. Kind of goes well. My little, my little thing here. My grill and green egg and all that. So, just wanted to show you. Uh, I gotta go quote three jobs. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait since they're so close uh, on them and. Um, I'll go do some errands and that's it. Alright, stay tuned. See what I get into. Later. Alright, real quick update on the uh, Employee Appreciation Day. Uh, I don't think obviously it's going to be this Sunday. We got the Mother's Day situation, but I think it'll be next Sunday. And a couple of things I was thinking to do besides just play some games and eat out and just really chill out. Um, I'm going to buy some cheap cones. That's my phone. <laughs> Some combs. And I'm going to actually outline like a path with the combs. And we're going to play around with the walk behind and uh, the stand on. And one of the reasons I want to do that is one, Justin is really good on the walk behind, but he's still shaky on the stand on. And Steve's not had any practice really, very little. I mean, he's gotten on it a few times. Here towards the end of these this week, he's actually kind of gotten on it and try to move it a little bit and but uh, he has no practice on it as far as training or any anything like that um so i think th i think that was that would be one of the cool things and i already told him about it they they seemed excited about it so i'm gonna like make a little trail with the cones um and uh they have to make it without hitting anything and so we'll do that we'll cook out maybe play some other games uh if i come up with anything else and then just really just hang out and eat some steak burgers and chicken and drink some beer. <laughs> anyway, but um, so I wanted to update you on that as far as the Employee Appreciation Day coming up. So it's not going to be this Sunday. I believe it'll be next Sunday, but I will confirm that. Uh, next week sorry guys I'm sweating I actually have a little bonfire started had some extra brush and uh, things of that nature that I had just piled up and it's been piled up for a while so I figured I'd just burn it I guess I can show you <clears throat> but uh, it's not a big deal <laughs> just kidding that's my baby you can see I mowed the yard, but then right here it's so overgrown. The pile's been here just for a while, guys, and I figured I'll just uh, I'll just burn it all. And it's a perfect time to do it right before the rain, right? So, of course, my little circle of rocks is destroyed right here because of some of the heavy logs that have fallen over. But I'll fix that later. 
not a big deal. But uh, yeah, I've had this sitting here for, I don't know, several weeks actually. Probably even a month, maybe even two months. You can tell just from how it's cut here to this. Uh, by the way, I didn't get to record last night, but when I got home, I actually took the Hustler X1 and, um, and I mowed it. And it did a pretty good job. Of course, I couldn't mow this because I still had some some brush there, but uh, get out of there, Mira. Go. <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to burn some more of this, and uh, the rest I just I, I'm just gonna run it over, mulch it up. It'll be fine. I've got some more of these right here left logs. So. But that's what I'm planning to do, guys. I'm planning to put some cones around and, uh, you know, just have a bunch of little trails. Maybe one or two bigger ones, you know, where they got to turn and they got to do all that. So, uh, one, it'll be fun, I think. And two, uh, it'll give them a chance to practice where we're not rushing. Let's go, 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 because we got clients to take care of. So, I think that'll be fun. So, all right, just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll uh, stay tuned, and, and tonight, once I complete this video, I will upload some of those pictures of uh, of the new dump trailer that's coming. I completely forgot about it, guys. It was, you know, by the time I uploaded it, somebody commented, and I'm like, oh, crap. So I apologize. I'll have that tonight. All right, later. back ninjas are back hello ninja hello ninja hey guys <laughs> steve has volunteered to plug a hole he's real good at plugging holes yeah. <laughs> that's the one i showed you guys earlier he's putting some of that <laughs> lubricant on <laughs> gotta loop the goo <laughs> oh, <Steve. laughs> uh, if there is any in there I don't believe that is out. I have a fresh one in the toolbox, separately. Sticky as it is, I don't think we really need it. Probably not. Oh, Steve. <laughs> Just don't, it's a, don't, yeah, get a little more, hey. That's good. Yeah, we'll cut that off. And there's the culprit. <sighs> There she is. That's the winner. Winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. Uh, oh, let's do it again. Now we got to make sure just whatever the uh, other tire pressure is to make sure it's yeah. even on this side. Otherwise, it, it won't be an even cut. Well pounds. A lot of people have been commenting. I can't believe, or something like that, that you trust them to do the good job or good job without you or let them out there without you and that's that's been a lot of comments here lately but i tell them ninja steve ninja ninja we uh we got we got this taken care of and i i trust them and they've so far how many days so far this week has it been a whole week yeah, it was a whole week was yep. it four at least this is day number five since I've really just kind of haven't been in the truck with you guys. I mean, I've showed up here and there, but haven't haven't been in the truck. Huh? Yeah, we don't need you He's saying he doesn't, they don't need me anymore. They just need the, the green. <laughs> More green. But uh, no, they've, they've done a good job. Uh, and, and I haven't been getting any calls from anybody as far as, you know, 
quality goes or that things are being missed or anything like that so that's the reason why I've been with them for as long as I have to really get to show them every yard every single yard and uh, what every yard requires so they know this like that um, so I was telling them that uh, I had planned out to put the cones for the employee appreciation day and uh, we're gonna put Steve to the ultimate test I told Steve if he hits one cone, he's not getting a burger. <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the walk behind. On the walk behind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think that'll be fun. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this here. I'm sure the guys are ready to go home. There's nothing we can do, guys. I mean, it is pouring. got a text from two different realtors and three more accounts well four well really two but like three duplexes side by side and one uh, just an individual house I just looked at the individual house I completely forgot to record guys I really wanted to show you that it was almost knee-high it's overgrown uh, nobody's mowed it. The house just sold and uh, they couldn't get in touch with the owner. I guess he went out of state or what and so they weren't really sure and finally now that the house sold it needs to be mowed but this is one of those situations where yes it's probably just a one-time cut but they will always as we have an agreement um, or an understanding that they'll pass my information you know so the new owner might like our work and might call me. So. Um, and I'm fine with that and if he never calls me that's fine uh, I just charge accordingly for what the overgrowth is so anyway um, the the duplexes or whatever the heck they are I guess they're duplexes um, those are just mowing and pressure washing so Sorry guys, I got a text. So, I'm going to check, first I'm going to go ahead and pick up a payment from a customer. Uh, it was uh, it was from a realtor again, and the guy was not home, we, it was super overgrown. We took care of it. Took Steve and Justin, I think, like two hours. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy like how people let, you know, but again, he was out of state and it was for sale and I don't know, so. But he's meeting me up. He's back in town because I think he's got a closing tomorrow and he wants to go ahead and pay me. So <clears throat> going to go ahead and do that and then going to go knock that quote out. It's five o'clock, guys. I'm going to go home. It sucks. They didn't finish nothing with what we could have finished today. We could have if today the rain didn't mess us up, we could have been done. And then tomorrow all we had to do was just one small not small but medium sized shrub job shrubbery and one mulch job but now we got to finish the mowing and it seems like at the end of the week always something i just i just don't understand this rain has been something i mean i'm glad yeah i'm glad we're getting the rain but boy does it know how to come in the worst time I'll try to record a little bit at the duplexes. And uh, I really wish I had recorded that one. So, but if they give me the green light to mow it, obviously I'll, I'll show you guys I'll record it. So I had uh, texted her and my phone's blowing up guys. I'll talk to you later. All right, just met up with the customer, gave me the check, tipped me $20 because he said he felt like I was I had to wait for my money, which was not a big deal. But that was very nice of him, so very appreciative of that. And uh, now I'm headed to uh, go quote 
Those uh, duplexes, triplexes, I, I mean, I don't really know what they are. I haven't seen them yet, but I know he mentioned something like a duplex or a triplex. Or... So, um, all right, let's go look at them. I think he said he wants the quote for gutter cleaning, mowing, and uh, pressure washing only the decks. So, let's go look. Sorry guys, I did not get to record at the duplex. I had nowhere to park and um, I just, I had nowhere to park. I actually just kept circling around two times because it's downtown and the parking spots, I guess this time of the hour, it was all taken. So I couldn't just stop in the middle of the road and block the traffic. So I kept circling just to get a good glance at the property and uh, I uh, sent him a quote, so we'll see. Uh, some of you have asked, do I still have the Hustler? Yes, I still got the Hustler X1. It's a 54 inch Kawasaki engine. I think it's like a 28 horse or something like that. Uh, I love that mower. The mower uh, uh, did good. I think I mentioned earlier, I cut the backyard with the Hustler just last night. and uh, Definitely not as comfortable as the Turf Tiger. But, uh, and the seat was, you know, definitely not, you feel every bump, but it works fine. It's got like a hundred, uh, 100, 614 hours, 615 hours, but, uh, it works, it works fine. So, sorry guys, this video today is mostly of me talking again. Uh, there's just nothing I could do. I mean, and I couldn't record that one and I forgot to record the first one. So I apologize, but, uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a wrap here unless I uh, have something to show you when I get home or if I get into something I'll, uh, I'll I'll record otherwise I'll put this together and at the end of this video I will definitely add some pictures of my trailer keep in mind the pictures that I put up is the two foot walls so it's not the same trailer obviously is what I'm getting I'm getting the three foot walls but you'll you get the idea of what I'm ordering or what's getting built uh, somebody asked if it's the heavy duty or axles. Yes, it's the heavy duty or axles. I made sure of that. So it's not like your typical, I think the what, the standard's like 3,500 per axle. It's not that, it's uh, it's the heavy duty or kind. I think it's either 7,000 per axle, I believe is what he told me. Don't hold me to that, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what it was, so. I'm here to check my PO box. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have a lot more to show. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do. I was hoping we were going to be done with everything today. And um, and tomorrow, we're just going to worry about mulch and shrubbery. But now, we got like six yards to do tomorrow. And Steve's asked off tomorrow. Uh, or not off, but Steve has asked to finish early tomorrow because he's got some plans. And he's given me a heads up about it. I think he's already told me like a week and a half ago. And so, which is, I mean, you know, as long as we get done around five or something. So that, and I, I told him that's fine. As long as he gave me a heads up, um, that's it. So I don't know what, you know, I don't know how it's all going to work out tomorrow. I really would like to push all this mulch jobs back until my trailer comes in. So I'm going to try to do that, but we will see. All right, guys, stay tuned. Thanks again. Later. <laughs>